you know, when you and I met, we met through a mutual friend earlier this mm-hmm. year. And I'd have to say, I think it's safe to say we're kind of a little bit different from one another. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. A little There's bit. a lot of similarities. There are a lot of similarities. Yeah. There are a lot of similarities. Different paths. Very different yeah. paths. So that's what we wanted to dive into today because like a lot of the people that I work with are kind of on that business path. They're on the, you know, you grow up, you go to college, you get married, you have kids, you work for a company or either you start your mm-hmm. own business. But it's very um, almost like prescriptive. You know, and I don't know what I'm starting to see now as, you know, we're all starting to get older is people, they aren't following what they want. They're kind of doing what everybody else told them they should do. I can relate to that. I mean, just going back to high school, see, I didn't really start. We started Trucks Gone Wild. I think I was 31 when we did that. Yep. And and I was just kind of floundering before that. I was I was doing okay. I, I kind of came up in the nightclub business. DJ and music programming and all that. And the pay wasn't bad, but yeah. there wasn't anything that I was going to raise a family on and start buying houses with or anything like that. You know, but I, I remember going back to high school. I, I didn't really, I didn't love it, but I started at UCF in Orlando because my guidance counselor was like, well, you're, you're pretty good in math. You should be an engineer. Okay. Well, I'm going to be an engineer. Here I am 17 years old. I'm like, well, hell, I'll be an engineer. To this day, I don't even really know what an engineer does, but I know I took the first couple of weeks of those classes, electrical, yeah. mechanical engineering, like the intro ones. And I was like, there's no way I'm doing this. This is not for me. But how many people do you think do that? Because I know like dealing with, you know, my kid's age, your son's age, they're they're all thinking about what's next. And I feel like so many people say you should do this and they just go, OK, and don't even question it. I feel like more people do that than don't. And yeah, I think too. that's a problem. I don't know. It, it lends to a quality of life issue. And as you said, you can go to the college and then buy the house and start the family. And all of a sudden, I know a lot of people who have come up in a certain career. And yeah, in their 40s, they're like, I've never liked this. I don't like it now, but it's provided me a good, comfortable lifestyle. And sometimes they're 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 at a position where they can't change it. You know, there's there's mortgages and they're trying to put the kids through college. And by that time, you just like, I don't know, I feel bad. For them, but they've got a wonderful life yeah. from the outside looking in. Well, and that's what I'm seeing in my, you know, in my coaching business and like the people I get to speak to and all that stuff is they're hitting that wall. They're hitting 40, 50 and they're like, I, I hate this, but it is, <laughs> they've got it. They've got bills to pay. They've got that. I'm seeing a ton of people launch businesses now and starting to do different ventures once maybe they've got some savings in the bank, but you know, we, we put ourselves or a lot of people put themselves through school. They're racking up debt. They're doing all this kind of stuff. And it's not getting them anywhere. And they're miserable at the end of the day. Outside, they look fine. Because I have so many people that outside are looking like, oh, yeah, this is great. But then when you really get talked to them, they're they're miserable. 